Good afternoon, everyone. Another beautiful day. Uh, second to last day in November here. As you can see, we got a bunch of snow a couple of days ago. We thought it would melt away, but it's still hanging around. Weather's supposed to warm up, so I'm sure it will melt away in the next few days. Anyway, I received finally my frame for my new mini hay wagon. It came this morning. There's the boxes, but I've already taken it out, so here's the parts. And as you can see, significantly larger than the current hay wagon that it's sitting on. And far, far stronger. Look at the size of the wheels compared to those. And the frame is supposed to be able to hold 2,200 pounds, so it'll be uh, very, very rugged, which is what I wanted. And I also picked up a bunch of two by six pine boards. The guy sold them for, to me for 80 bucks. I think there's 25 five footers here. So it'll be more than enough to build the deck on top. I'll just have to get a couple of either four by fours or uh, four by sixes just to run uh, structurally the length of the wagon. So I'm gonna put that together and see how the frame looks once it's all set up and then start working on the deck. Okay, so here is the frame fully assembled. Pretty simple to put together, pretty obvious. Can see why they don't even pack instructions. It's just a few bolts and nuts here and there. Wheels are just held on with some washers and cotter pins. Uh, what's nice about them though is they have actual grease nipples on each wheel, so you can keep everything looped up nicely, which is a really, really nice feature. Uh, looks like a pretty well-made frame. Good quality, nice welds. Uh, the one thing I don't like is they didn't include any washers. The only washers that came with it are the ones on the wheels. But those washers I added in. I really wish they had included all these washers just to help protect the paint. So when you're cranking the bolts down, it's not scratching all the paint off the frame. But uh, other than that, very, very nice quality frame. So got a couple of adjustments to do. The wheel alignment's a little off. I'm just gonna fix that up and then we're good to go.
So I decided to go with a relatively cheap design here. I was looking around for six by six posts and then four by six posts, which are nearly impossible to find at a reasonable price. And uh, just decided to go with eight foot two by sixes and screw two of them together and use those as my my structural beams across the top. So I've got them screwed together now. I've got my two beams. Just need to put some holes here. I'm gonna bolt them onto the frame in all four corners. And then I can start laying the top. So here is the wagon, pretty much complete. I put some sides on it just so that when the kids are riding around on it, they've got something to hold on to so they don't fall off, obviously. And I left it open on the back because that's where they'll get on and off. <clears throat> it turned out pretty good, I think. Really, really sturdy. Good easily carry four or five adults on there no issues whatsoever so i'll just have to grease up the axles and grease up the steering and clean it up give it a light sanding and that's pretty much it it's good to go Happy birthday!